and welcome to FF News' coverage of fintech talents over at the brewery, right by the beautiful Barbican here in London. And today we're doing cocktail conversations. And joining me here today, I have Jacob from Snowdrop Solutions. Jacob, how are you doing? I'm doing really well, thanks. How about yourself? Absolutely amazing. I mean, we have had quite a few drinks already, so we're <laughs> ready to go. But Jacob, could you tell our viewers a bit more about uh, yourself and Snowdrop Solutions, please? Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Um, so my name's Jacob. Um, I work in the sales team at Snowdrop. Um, we're essentially a, a, a small fintech company that creates compelling user experiences um, in, in banking applications, all done through one single API. Absolutely incredible. I mean, when you think of the war between banking apps, if you have one bad experience, you're probably not going to go back. So it sounds critical that you guys help them out there, right? Absolutely. I mean, it, it's, sort of, it's sort of an interesting field, though. Like, I, I work with uh, a lot of different startups and traditional banks. Yeah. Um, and uh, j basically what we, we actually do is we take transaction transaction data, so you yeah. know, your, your messy transactions you sort of see on your banking statement. Sure. And we provide that logo, clean name, category, things like that. Yeah. Um, so think, think of your Monzos, your Revoluts. I mean, whenever I see the image and the location of where I, I bought something, that helps so much like a month later knowing where that was. So I got you to thank for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, for, for, for some of the banking yeah. apps out there, you know, I think uh, Monzo and Revolut, they're, uh, you know, they've got a lot, of, a lot of other compelling features. As Incredible, well. yeah. Well, brilliant. Well, to kick us off then, we also have Francesco joining us here from Spin and Shake. Francesco, how are you doing? I'm very, very good. How are you guys? Looking good, forward to this drink. I mean, could you tell us a bit more about the drink, Francesco? Perfect, right. So today, from now, for you guys, I've got an all-time favorite, an all-time classic, the non-alcoholic Paul Star Martini, which is pretty good. Not too many ingredients, it's actually not too hard to make, and I'm sure you guys are going to love it. Right, cool. so starting off, we're going to then... Now I feel fancy. Now, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah? Right, so, if you want to get your small tin yep. ready out here, ready for you guys. So, what we're going to do, starting off, we're going to get some vanilla syrup, okay, which is your first bottle here on the left. Okay. Just going to get about 25 ml, so we're going to fill up the small side of the tin. I can already feel the sugar. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is Into loopy. <laughs> Woo. Look at that. Wow. wow. Then we're going to get some pineapple juice, which is our second bottle here. And now this time we get like one and a half. One and a half? Yes. So you get all of, all of that all the way to the wow. top. Wow. Yes. And I'm then the second gonna... time you're going to fill up all the way to the line that you see there in the middle. Yes. Sugar overload. Right. So, Jacob, why is it that transaction data is so messy? Is it because of the, the volume of payments people now buy? It's not just one ATM transaction. It's now hundreds of small coffees here and there. Well, I think there's probably a little bit a little bit more history to it all. I think I think you can look at services as as a whole and sort of the the acceleration of technological adaption over the past few decades yeah. to, to sort of thank for it. So, I mean, you look at um, WhatsApp's a really good example, or Netflix is a really good example. Right. Think 15 years ago, yeah. uh, if you wanted to make a call internationally, you'd have to go down to the supermarket and buy like credit to call, you know, like I, I'm from Australia, like I, I, when I moved here, yeah. my dad couldn't believe that he could just call me via the internet. He goes, wow. oh, we have to get credit to call the UK. Um, so I think every industry has accelerated with the technology and, and yeah. financial services, considering it's got a little bit more regulation than most industries, um, has just been one of the last ones to, yeah. to do it. But now they've realized, you know, uh, consumer expectations have risen to a point where they can no longer sit on their, on their laurels. No. So if you think back to, you know, you've got your, you remember when you used to get like a three month paper statement yep. um, and it'd just be this big block of paper and then when mobile banking came around all they seemed to really do was just put this into a PDF the size of your phone screen yeah. and then nothing really changed until you know um, banks like so some of the new neo banks came out and, and they've really changed the game now consumers expect more even from traditional banks. Absolutely amazing. I know I certainly do. So, Francesco, um, what next? Now that we've got those two ingredients. Yes, in. we've got one last ingredient to go into it, oh, which wow. is okay. our passion fruit puree. Woo. Okay, Ooh. so we literally just get a couple of squeezes into, into the tin. Okay, you go first, Jacob. Okay. Whoa! 
Is that, 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 that enough? It'd be more, it'd be a little more. Bit more. We all like it. That's perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. There you go. Give it some passion in there, Jacob. Mate. Yeah. Oh, tell oh, me when. Nice. That, that's good. That's okay. good. Right, then now we're ready to ice up for 10. Ice up. All right. the way to the rim. And now you guys ready to shake? All right, let's do it. Yeah. I think so. Jacob, would you be able to, actually, sorry, Francesco, would you be able to show Jacob and I how to uh, Of to course, shake? of course, right. So what we want to do, we, we literally just to get our big tin, we're going to place it on top of the small one, get like a little top on top, just to make sure that you see that nothing falls and it stays. Then you just lifted that up yes, like that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dangerous <man. laughs> It's all good. Then we're basically going to turn around so that the small tin is facing towards us. Yep. Okay, okay, one hand on top, one at the bottom, then we're gonna shake back and forth as, much, as hard as you can. Then, once we're done shaking, well, I'll let you guys know once we're done, you basically just want to keep it like this, heat the small tin a tiny bit, and voila, the All drink right. would be okay, ready. Right. So there you go, now that's the one for you. Time to shake it. Huh? it. Ready. Yeah, you guys are good. <laughs> I'm gonna try and move this away from the mic. <laughs> just a tiny bit more. We should be good. Yeah. Should be good to go. Huh. Right. All right. We leave it this nice side point. up. Yes. Then now we give you it want the, to so hold just it tap like it, this. Whack it. Then tap. Bottom tin. You can tell I didn't wow, work you really hard. Wow, you really hit it that hard, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> there. Oh, right, there yes. we go. And then is it just a matter of pouring it? Yes. Then get your strainer on and pour it in. All right. Nice. Look at that. That ah, looks nice, guys. Well done. Well, thanks for teaching me. <laughs> Pleasure. <laughs> Pleasure. Ooh, right, okay, so before we garnish, um, Jacob, could you, you know, tell us what the future is? Now, you've talked about these customer expectations, these customer demands from their payment transaction data. But what's that going to mean in the future? We've already got the images, we've got the location. This is going to mean more, I'm thinking. Well, we've actually just launched um, our latest new feature with uh, Rebellion Pay in oh. Spain, and it's green ESG tagging. Wow. So I think what goes hand in hand with merchant identification is finding out more about the merchant. Consumers want to find more insight. So yeah. um, as sort of our first version, uh, we've got you know your merchant identification linked to the scheme uh, for, for the UN. The UN has a database of um, of green merchants, wow. and so you can look in your banking app, and next to you know each merchant, there might be a little green leaf or a, or a or a tree or something that indicates that that merchant is sustainable. So I think plugging in more data points such as ESG to begin with, obviously a really important topic in the world right now. Yep. Um, you know, the, the sky's the limit. I think that's absolutely fascinating, knowing that I'm just gonna be going through my bank, my payments, and I'm gonna be fed that data and be able to make better choices to help the world. Yeah, I mean, if you saw Tes if you saw you shopped at Tesco and Morrison's and one of them was sustainable and the other wasn't, wow, maybe you'd, maybe you'd go back to Tesco, I'm not sure. It's <laughs> absolutely fascinating. Well, with that in mind then, let's garnish with some, some greenery. So this time I think it's pink. Right. Just get a tiny bit of passion fruit, just place it right there in the middle. Amazing, cheers. I mean, it is an angry looking fruit, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Do I mean, I guarantee it's delicious. That's, that's perfect. Cool, right, there we go. So I think it's now a cheers. Oh my goodness. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Oh, that's, oh, that's actually that's, really that's good. really good. <laughs> wow. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be. No, that's it's really nice. just full of flavor. Mm. Like, it kicks. Wow, I love it. Mm. I didn't think I'd, I'd never, never thought I'd be um, be saying I love a mocktail, but yeah, this but is, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, going see, really well. One star martini. You'll be on my uh, next uh, bar bar experience in the I future. I think so. Francesco, thank you so much. It's just been a pleasure. pleasure. Thank you. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you, mate. Thanks a lot. Jacob, thank you as well. It's been an absolute awesome. pleasure. Yeah, thanks and for having me on. It's an absolute well. Thank you for you know choosing the the porn star martini. <laughs> um, and guys, you can catch the rest of the series and much more over at ffnews.com and of course YouTube especially LinkedIn, where you'll see me in the comments. Once again, thank you very much, and goodbye.